How is it going guys? Madden Mobile Slay here with another Madden video and today we have a 100 overall. So a lot of you guys uh, are actually good at Madden Mobile, like specifically Domination and you have Rob Gronkowski with the plus 5 strength or Odell Beckham Jr., uh, the Mobile Master, but I do not have either of them. So especially with uh, the new game changers and of course all the new players that just recently came out, there is a lot of good uh, players and apparently good enough to get 100 overall. So I'm going to take you uh, through the team, I'll show you the offense, the defense, and all that good stuff. So of course we have Emmett Smith, uh, Jerry Rice, and the one and only Devin Hester from the League versus League um, Achievement. And then as you guys, I think I might have already shown this, but we have the Michael Vick. This isn't his boss edition. This is the set version. Um, but we have Michael Vick and then a LaShawn McCoy with that plus one Excel uh, in the fullback position, which uh, I don't necessarily like him uh, as a fullback because he's not a fullback. Uh, but he does get the plus one Excel, which I like. So uh, he's there for now. Of course, we have Larry Fitz because that plus two awareness and plus two strength is crucial. Um, Brandon Cooks, this guy is just an overall beast. Um, he is short, but his stats are undeniable. 99 speed, 99 awareness, 99 Excel, 96 catch. And that is 99 speed uh, base stats. So that is very impressive. Also on the offensive line, could be better. Um, but I do... I do like what we have so far. Josh Sitton, this guy is uh, lower lower overall. What is he? He's a 94, yeah. But he um, but his pass block, his run block, and his impact block, plus that strength, is just uh, godlike. So let's move on to the defense. Um, as you guys can see, we have 99 uh, Ultimate Legend Rod Woodson as a corner uh, right here. He has some pretty good stats: 99 speed, 94 zone, 97 man. This guy is a baller. Um, also, we have Dominique Rogers Cromartie. Now, this is a game changer that I actually picked up right when they came out. Plus two speed, minus one Excel. So now you don't have to have that Sammy Watkins because I hate, like, I hated throwing to Sammy Watkins or Odell, um, the game changer Odell. I just didn't like it. I wanted, I wanted my favorite wide receivers, um, but this dude is a beast. I believe is he a 98 overall, 96. Um, but look at those stats. That is some pretty great stats right there. Also, Brandon Merriweather, plus one zone, which also I believe the Cam Chancellor Silver Medal Master offers. But uh, that is also pretty sick. Of course, Eric Berry, uh, Mean Joe Green. This guy was expensive, 99 overall defensive tackle. Um, so he is, check out this dude's stats, 100 strength. Like, yeah, 99 tackle. 98 block shedding, 99 power moves. This guy, he's he's a savage on the defensive line. Uh, we also have Deion Sanders, Brian Dawkins, Von Miller, uh, Dequell Jackson, Lawrence Taylor, LT, and then Elvis Dumerville. So for the special teams, we have uh, Billy Cundiff, of course, Devin Hester, Britton Colquitt, and Earl Thomas. Now, specialists just came out, and technically I could put this guy in, and his stats are... A lot better but here's the one thing that's holding me back speed is everything when it comes to punt returner I don't care if you have 99 juke move like I don't care if you have a 99 ball carry vision it's a punt return and like 90% of the time I don't even return punts like that just doesn't happen um, especially I mean if you're decent at defense you don't really need to like return punts um, so that speed, uh, the speed that Earl Thomas offers is insane. 95, it gets boosted to 97, and I'm fine with that. Uh, I believe the specialists, they just gave him a bunch of 99 stats, which, I mean, come on, it's 99 stats. But uh, the only it doesn't really do much to my to my overall for my special teams, and I love uh, the speed. And I guess I'm also kind of uh, biased towards Earl Thomas because I am a Hawks fan. But let's be honest, Travis Benjamin has – a lot better stats, but it, I really like uh, fast speed for my punt returners. Uh, just my personal opinion, but who cares about that, right? So there is the squad, 100 overall without Odell or Gronkowski. The haters told me I couldn't do it, but I did it, and I'm super excited. I believe like this is really easy. I can, I think you can even get to like 101 without them. Um, so that's it's really impressive because a lot of people like it's like an art form for some people like coming up with teams that boost each other in the right spot because the problem with this team is that I have so much plus awareness on this team that it doesn't even matter like everyone has 99 awareness and if you put in someone like after everyone has a 99 awareness and you put in someone that gives plus two awareness they're not going to do anything for your team because 
Um, it doesn't technically raise the overall, though, in like uh, in Madden 16, they would have like 106 awareness, but uh, that's not how Madden Mobile works. So I still find that team pretty sick. So let's jump into uh, just a few head-to-head -head really quick, just kind of just kind of play around with the squad. All right, so we are here in a head-to-head -head game. Let's just get things started. Um, just testing out, testing out the team, uh, seeing, seeing the how the different players boost each other and how that helps uh, this team has some pretty high awareness and pretty high speed uh, ha almost has like most of the linemen stuff have almost a hundred percent full uh, 99 overall strength so we're gonna start off with HP toss to the left let's see if we can get anything good this is my this is my go-to play um, every single time uh, we only gained about five there but I always just like I love to grind halfback toss because you get those two blockers and I always like to to utilize that so we get the first down there uh, let's switch it up a lot of times uh, this is kind of like a head-to-head -head or like league tournament tips because a lot of people are like yo slay like hook me up with some like plays that that aren't commonly used halfback counter strength is a great play to try out um, because I mean most people just don't counter it and basically you could bounce out and then you could cut it back in um, I didn't gain too much right there we'll try it again uh, I like to always I like to flip my plays a lot because I'm left-handed so I'll run to the left but it looks like we get stumped this time. Yeah. So third down. What are some good plays? Now I could do FL drag, but most likely that's gonna be countered. Um, I could do smash. Not usually, but a lot of times it's countered. So I like to go onto long pass, flip it up, and we have cross up down here. And what basically uh, you get kind of like that same FL drag um, from the wide receiver, but then you also get the the halfback to go out for a shot. So let's see. Um, and we're gonna hit rice. Let's go. Oh, you're kidding me. Fourth down. Whew. So, I mean, we have Boss Vic. We could go for it, honestly. But I feel like when it comes to head-to-head, -to -head, QB Sneak is one of the most countered things. So we're just going to go back to... Oh, this is scary. Let's go, baby. No. No. Let's go. First down. How sad is that? I'm literally, like, getting hyped over a first down. Um, so let's, let's try out different ones. Curls is also a great one because I love... I honestly throw to my halfback more than my wide receivers, if we're honest. Uh, but there we go, Emmett Smith wide open. Boom, can he get it? We get about eh, seven yards. Let's do some more run plays. Uh, do not disgrace halfback slant 18. This is your friend. Um, halfback slant 18 basically goes right up the middle. And if it is not countered, you can get some um, some big yards, especially if that uh, leading linebacker is not in the hole. You could just straight up take off. Now let's try. Uh, halfback counter strength again to get a few more yards. Let's see. Boom, get on the outside, get that block. Uh, I should have went more. I should have went further outside. All right, let's see. What can we What can we pull off? Um, cross in, spot, fullback flare. A lot of people like this. I'm not 100% loving it uh, with fullback flare because you do get that, that main, yeah, the corner was on uh, my halfback, especially if it's counter, which that wasn't countered, I don't believe. But what are some long passes? So there always comes a point when it's like, you know, okay, it's like third and 20 or third and 15 or third and 10. And you're like, I can't just do a short pass because they've been countering this this junk the whole time. What is a good play? Well, you gotta analyze your options. Double hitch, um, that one is a great one. Tight end corner is more likely to be countered than double hitch. Double hitch is good if you have like a domination gronk. I have Julius Thomas who is decent but i don't know if i trust him that much motion wise shallow is also a good one but motion wise shallow is more of like a first to second down play uh that's like because usually i'll just pass to the halfback and try and get like a touchdown um deep cross of course the cross up like we talked but you know i'm gonna go i'm gonna go clutch third and six i'm gonna throw it to um my tight end so julius thomas getting on that route and look at that we get that clean um cleanly real nice and what's nice about having fast tight ends is that they're most tight ends like fast tight ends are awesome especially once i can catch because that's like what domination gronk is so good at i don't believe he's incredibly fast uh gronkowski but i know i know he has really good catch so of course my plus two dominic rogers camardi on the defense also affects my offense which is clutch giving that plus two speed to the whole team and there we go halfback toss coming in true with the touchdown so that was a little bit um of head to head for you guys i'm gonna show you uh let me let's see what can we do i'm gonna give you kind of like my two pointer options that i usually go with uh, a lot of times i'll go 
I'll go halfback toss if it's working. But here's the trick. A lot of people will get the touchdown, and then they will try and like do a completely different play to try and get the two-point, which is stupid. You want to do the play that you've been running the whole time because that's what you're used to. Um, you know that it's not countered. So all that stuff. So halfback counter strength is – it can be sketch because a few times I was stopped. A few times I was able to get five yards. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, now another play that I forgot to mention, the full uh, – the FB fake halfback toss, the fullback fake halfback toss is also super sick. Um, try it out during your league tourneys. A lot of people don't have it countered, and you can get some pretty, um, some pretty good yards if you have a fast halfback. So halfback counter – don't do it. Uh, fullback dive, it's a risk. It could be countered. Halfback dive weak. That one is also a, a really pretty high risk. So halfback toss, or we're looking at like halfback counter strength. Uh, I've been doing this the whole day, so we're gonna go with it. Halfback counter strength. It looks like there's a hole, and we dive it right in. So a lot of times you have to be aware, and I know a lot of you are do this and practice this, but. Like just because a play tells you to go a certain way does not mean you have to go that way. Just just to make sure you know that, um, because that halfback strength is supposed to go into like the A gap on the left side, but might as well just cut it back into like the other the right side A gap uh, if it's open. So a good a good agility back, but a balance between strength and agility um, is perfect. That's why I love Emmett Smith. Uh, as you guys saw, I have done a Chris Johnson versus Bo Jackson versus Emmett Smith. But the problem with Bo Jackson is he kept he keeps fumbling it for me. I don't know if it's just you, uh, but he, he always fumbles it for me, and I just hate that, especially during uh, league tourneys because, I mean, once you fumble, I mean, there's no going back. You don't get any points. Uh, so I love Emmett Smith because he's, like, the most balanced back. I believe there are a lot of halfbacks coming into the game. We have Gauntlet Lynch potentially. Um, and then I think it was Marcus Allen who had like the crazy insane stats on Mudhead. So I'm super excited for that. You guys are the best. And thank you guys for checking out my video. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right. Peace.